We need to be bold to come to the throne of God and be confident and stay there. When you're battling with something, do not use your own strength. Give it to God because God is saying, I want my battle back. Don't win yourself. You want to succeed. I want my battle back. God will never abandon us. We need to be confident in battling our problems. When we know the root of our pain, our problems, and we know the truth in Christ, give it up to Christ. Be confident enough to stay in there. Be confident enough to boldly say, God, take, take my pain, take my problem. When we pray to, to God, don't worry as to how God is going to do the things that we ask for. Be confident enough that God is going to do it, period. See to it that God is going to say yes. Of course, it's, it is according to His plan and not, not our plan. Don't come to God as, as how, you know, how, how we want God to be in our life, meaning in, in, in our short three-dimensional brain. Don't come to God that way. Come to God as, as humble as possible, as confident as possible, and know that He is going to do the things that He has planned for you for us. We don't we don't see enough surrenders. We don't see enough submissions. We don't see that anymore. We see some evangelism in the, in the U.S. We need to come to the very throne of God and stay there to receive His mercy and to find His grace to help us out in times of need. We need to be confident. We need to, to make sure that we understand who we are. Yes, we came from our parents, however, we are His. We are the child of God. We need to be confident child. We are His chosen one. Stay in His throne and be confident. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, thank you Thank you for, for your words. Thank you for, God, for teaching us those, uh, the confidence, Father, about confidence. Thank you for just leading us to you. Father, our hearts are always changing. Our hearts are just flawed, Father. Help us to, to be confident in you. Help us to come to you every single day and be confident in you. Because we are your child, Father. You want us to be confident as who we are. You chose us before the foundation of the world. Thank you, Jesus, for, for your words this morning. Father, thank you for my brothers and sisters in Christ. As, as they, 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 they're here just to listen to your words, Father. And say they love you. Thank you for their hearts, Father. I thank you just Bless them, watch over them, and touch their hearts so they can know you more and more, Jesus. I live all of them to you, Jesus. So you can transform them the way you transform me, the way you are still transforming me. Church, go in peace, go in confidence because you are his child. Be a confident child. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We'll go into announcements. So online offering, please e-transfer your offering to lfkpchurch at gmail.com with your name and your offering envelope number. Summer Fellowship, this week we'll be having soccer night um, from 6 to 8 p.m. It's going to be at BMO Center. So it's at 295 Rectory Street. That's somewhere in downtown, I believe. And be prepared for some physical activity, okay? Come 
like ready to run. We're gonna make you run because it's soccer night. Um, so just FYI, on the field, it's not mandatory to wear a mask. So um, for high seats, who are interested in coming, please confirm with your parents that it's okay to not wear a mask. I know some parents are, have already said um, yes, some parents have said no. So if you want to come, please confirm with your parents, okay? Um, anything else? Please contact Raphael Ann, who's not here today, exposed. <laughs> but contact Raph if you have any questions, okay? So see you there on Friday. And EMP, so early morning prayer. This happens every week in the morning, early in the morning. So Saturday morning at 6 a.m. at church. If you want to um, pray together, or pray on your own actually, um, time to devote to God. And also, um, if you want to help church clean up, <laughs> you can come to EMP on Saturday mornings. Any questions, you can contact me. And baptism. So baptism and confirmation will be happening um, September this year. Please see Peter actually, not myself. Please see Peter if you um, want to get baptized um, this year. I think you have to be like grade 7 and above from my knowledge. But if you're interested, yeah, let the leaders know, let Peter know, okay? And that's it. All right. Thank you, everyone. Um,